Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation, also known as TWS, is a powerhouse of a trading platform. With all that it has to offer, it's important to understand the lay of the land and get familiar with it. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a basic overview of the TWS platform to show you what you're working with and how to navigate it. So let's get started. When you first log into Trader Workstation, here's what you're going to see. This will be your login screen here. Now you have the option to log in either through live trading or your paper trading account. We're gonna go ahead and use the paper trading account in all of these videos for safety purposes. And on top of logging in here on this main screen, there is a more options button over here on the bottom right-hand corner. If you click that, you'll have the option to, before you even get into the platform, change the color to a dark theme, classic or light theme, the language, your time zone, and so on. When you first log into Trader Workstation, this will be the generic screen that pops up. In the upper right-hand corner, you will find your account details along with which subscription you have with Interactive Brokers. This entire screen can be adjusted to your liking, and we will do that in the next video. But for now, just know if you wish to add a new window to this, go to the left-hand side, select New Window, and here you'll find things like charts, quote details, market depth, and so on. With the standard layout that Trader Workstation provides you, in the upper left-hand corner, you will see the order entry window. You'll notice that right now we have Disney or DIS. Here is where you will be able to place your orders. So in this window, you'll be able to see the bid and the ask, along with the quantity of how many shares you wish to buy or sell. Over here, you have the buy and sell selection whether or not you wish to place your order on a limit order or a market order, the limit price, should you decide to use a limit order, the time and force, and then the place to submit over here. If you wish to quickly access the options chain, you can select options chain right here, and this will pop up the options chain for you to take a look at. Over here, you can also access things like the strategy builder, alerts, time and sales, level two or market depth, and so on. Below the order entry window is where you will find what is called the quote details window. Here you'll see that we also have DIS or Disney. In this window, we can view the most recent price, the bid and ask, the high and low for the day, the 52 week high and low, earnings, valuation, and so on. If you wish to view more information about this stock in particular, there's an arrow in the bottom right hand corner that you can click on, hover over it, it'll say more details. Click this button and out pops an additional box where you can find more information on this stock. To the right of the quote details window, you will see the correlated chart. In here, you can add studies, trend lines, levels, and all kinds of things. We'll do a more in-depth chart video in the future. To change the stock that we're looking at for all three of these windows here, we're gonna go ahead and hit this drop down in the order entry window. In here, you can type in a new ticker. We'll do Apple, hit enter, hit enter again. And this will change your order entry window to show Apple, your quote details window to show Apple, and your chart to show Apple. Below the quote details window and the chart, you'll find the activity window. This is where you'll see your active orders, your trades, and your summary. On the right hand side, you can click where it says all, and this is where you'll be able to switch between any live orders, canceled orders, or completed orders, or like it says right now, you can look at all of your orders. On the right hand side, we have your watch lists. So you can have multiple watch lists here. You'll see right now we have favorites queued up, but we also have your portfolio watch list here, US movers, and you can add additional ones with this plus sign here. We'll go back to favorites. In this column, you can add any ticker that you want. So we'll go ahead and put CCL. Just know on Trader Workstation, whenever you type a symbol anywhere on the account, you have to hit enter twice for it to populate. So we'll go ahead and do it one more time here. I'm gonna click on this box. I type in NCLH. If I hit enter once, it gives me this drop down with additional options. When I hit it one more time, that's when the ticker will populate into this field. Now on the bottom right hand side, you'll see the news section. So this is any news for the market, anything in your portfolio or a specific stock. On the bottom left hand side of your screen, you'll notice a number of tabs. Right now we're clicked on mosaic. These are layouts for the platform. We'll use this section of the platform to create our own custom layout in the future. But for now, let's take a look at the classic TWS layout. When I click on this layout right now, it's bringing me to a watch list. 
This is where you'll also be able to view your account and your portfolio. So if I go up to the top menu item, I can click on account and I can go to portfolio window and this will populate a new tab on this page where I can see my portfolio and any open positions I might have. Now, if you wanna take a look at your account, go ahead and click the account button at the top here. This will bring up your account window. Now in here, you'll be able to see your equity, your cash, your margin, your buying power, and so on. Each one of these sections in the account window can be customized. On the right hand side, you'll see a plus symbol on each of these sections. Go ahead and click the plus sign and you'll notice that there are certain boxes here that are checked and these are the ones that we're seeing right now. But if you wish to see other ones, you can go ahead and just click the check mark on these as well. If you wish to take a look at options, the options trader button is right here at the top. So you'll go ahead and click that and this will bring up the options window. We can go ahead and just stick with Disney like we had on our other layout. And once we place a symbol in here, we will be able to see the options chain. We'll do a walkthrough of the options chain in a future video as well. You'll notice that there are other buttons here at the top. We won't walk through all of them, but you'll notice that if you wanna place alerts, this is where your alerts are. If you wanna pull up charts, they're right here, news, and so on. Trader Workstation also has this really cool feature called iBot. When you click on iBot, you basically have a AI system to help answer your questions. For instance, I can ask it, what is my overnight buying power? And it will bring up the answer. So if there are certain things with your account that you're unsure about, iBot is a great place to ask questions. And that is a quick walkthrough of the Trader Workstation platform. Again, upon entry into this platform for the first time, you will be introduced to the Mosaic tab here. In the future, we will adjust this tab and create our own custom layout. Stay tuned for more videos where we dive deeper into each component of this platform.